I wanted to visit the Aboriginal art site called King Edward River, or Munaru. To get there, I travel some rough country and have to cross a few rivers. I have the whole place to myself, just amazing. An open air art gallery, rocky outcrops and caves, absolutely covered in art. More Wanjinas, a burial site, and the mysterious Bradshaw or Gwyngwyn art, said to be up to 25,000 years old. The long-limbed people depicted in this art kind of looked African to me. The Gwyngwyn art is an older art movement than the Wanjinas, which only date back about 4,000 years. It just blew me away. As I wandered around, I imagined the site at night, lit by fire sticks, the sound of ceremony, clapping sticks and didgeridoo. Such a special place. That night, I felt this is where I end my film. This is the pinnacle. I've seen remnants of the rich cultural history of my country. I've learnt of the grounding and healing nature of being alone in the wild. I feel at peace with myself and the world around me. I couldn't hope for more. The next day, I decide to ride back to civilization, onward to Kununurra. I feel very much in sync with my bike, everything working, all my research and preparation paying off. I feel like Toby Price in the Dakar. I do 300 kilometers of rough dirt corrugations, dust and river crossings. The bike performing like it's on rails, the tires, the suspension, everything working a treat. I feel invincible. I've gone from being a guy who was actually afraid to take a wheel off my bike to someone competent in doing repairs. I've learnt that being alone in nature isn't something to be scared of, but instead something that offers us a unique perspective of our own place in the world. And most importantly, I've grown to love my country again, to appreciate its rich cultural heritage, to reconcile myself with its vicious colonial past and to understand that to move on, we must recognize our similarities in order to overcome our differences. I've met men older than me, men living extraordinary lives. They've taught me life doesn't end with middle age. I know what I want now. Youth has given me experience and every day from this moment on truly is a blessing. My journey is over. I hope you've enjoyed the ride. And one day, I hope you too can see this great country.